Aero 2018 in Friedrichshafen, Germany, the great global show for aviation in Europe and one of my favorite destinations. We want to thank our U.S. sponsors, Bristol Aircraft USA and LSA Aero Marine for helping make this video possible. Today we are looking at an aircraft that has caused a lot of excitement over the past few years. When we first saw it here some time ago, it was in an early stage of development. Now it's ready to enter production and in fact that's going along well. I'm Dan Johnson speaking with Christian and Hans from Scale Wings. All right, so we are now talking about what we now know as the SW-51, Scale Wings 51, and you are going to be building the aircraft as well as designing it, which Hans did some time ago. And now, with your help and other people's help, you've raised capital and you're ready to enter production. Is that a correct set of That's statements? That's right. That's the current status of the product, uh, project. Um, we started off as an engineering company, but these days we've um, grown into a fully-fledged aircraft company with manufacturing <laughs> facilities in Poland and the engineering in Austria, also working with an external uh, design and certification office in Germany. But in total we are about 25 people working on a solid budget to make this project. Excellent. Happen. Now I know Hans, I've seen some of many items that Hans has designed, uh, a great variety of things you've done. But this is a big change to go from just a design organization to a production organization. That took some time to arrange, I assume, Christian, yes? That's right. I mean, the, also finding investors in European investment landscape is not that easy. You know, nobody wants to take the risk, really, or hardly. And, um, but we're very glad to have found a, a really great team of, of private people who invested. And we were able to really attract great staff, great technical people who have long experience in, in the field and uh, we're very proud of what we have achieved in such a short time now in the past one and a half years and uh, we're good to go. We're very close to serious production and we have a great facility in, in Krosno in Poland and we're good to go to, to bring okay, this. Okay, so the design market. bureau stays in Austria. That's right. But the uh, production is in Poland yes. and uh, where we know there's a lot of aviation background. There are many people that know about building airplanes in Poland. Uh, it's an active country for aviation, so that's great. Now, this airplane distinguishes itself uniquely because of its construction. We would make a plane in metal completely. It would be not affordable because it takes such a lot of time. So to much labor to do all this yes, riveting and yes. stuff. So we said and we decided we make one plane absolutely professional, make it like metal, take best molds from this, and then the next all the, uh, all the planes will look like metal. And that looks for all the world like a series, many, many rivets and so forth. But this is all just in fiberglass, yes? Yeah, carbon. carbon. All is made I mean, yes, in complete a complete plane is said, in yes. carbon sandwich. Beautiful. Carbon nomic sandwich. And behind us here as well, this all looks the same here. This all looks like rivets and screws and all the things that it would take to do this in metal. All of this is just composite all carbon, carbon again. Yes, carbon right. fiber. It's a marvelous production that way. What engine are you using behind you? It's not the original Merlin engine, I presume. Yeah. <laughs> we have uh, realized uh, different uh, engine uh, solutions. Um, we are going from uh, from the lighter plane with 600 kilograms for ultralight and for LSA, for okay. American market. And there, there we can offer uh, Rotax engines. Uh, but we also offer uh, UL power engines ah, because okay. they are allowed officially to fly aerobatic. What scale is this to the original aircraft? Do you have that number? Yeah, it's a 70% scale. 70%. So this is 70% of the size of an actual yes. B-51 and it mimics the look. Apart from the prop, which is smaller than this one because we have a smaller engine, um, but over there with the Chevy V8 we have even the prop in the original proportions. So this aircraft, everything is so original and so to scale that you cannot tell the difference from the original unless you're standing next to it. And, and this is really unique out there, including the finishing like we just described with the rivets and everything that is actually when you feel it, it's not just a look, you feel it with your fingers. Yes, yeah, right. When I rub my hand on this, it even feels like a uh, conventional buck rivet. That's and, right. And uh, so that's a very fascinating thing that you've done here. And are, are you ready to begin actual right. serial production now? That's, that's happening today, is it, yeah. or very soon anyway? It, it maybe starts serial production. It okay. maybe starts serial production. And uh, at the moment, we have built up the whole production uh, site uh, with 1,000 square meters. This is already working okay. with our team, and we expand uh, in summer uh, to the full 3,000 square meters. And there we are able then to produce a, uh, a month about three to four planes and kits. Okay, all right, three to four airplanes a month. That would be a, that would be a great production of this airplane. You already have staff. You mentioned 25 people. 
already working for you, ready to do this work. Yes. Right. And so you're, you're in the future, right at the make, beginning of entering production then, is yes, that correct? Yes, and we make all ourselves. Now, do you have some customers now, Christian? Now, uh, yeah, at the, moment, at the moment we are with a delivery time about end of this year. Okay. But Ooh. it will raise very fast after the Euro because a lot of very interested uh, pilots were here and they will decide the next weeks. I think we are coming very, very fast up. All right, I want to talk a little bit about flight characteristics with you fellows now because it looks like a P-51 so much even though it's a little bit smaller, that some people are going to say, wow, that's beautiful, but I couldn't fly something like that. How do you respond to that question? But our chief test pilot, who is a Lufthansa pilot, he flew it and he said it's easier to fly than an FK-12, although it's a tail dragger. FK-9. 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 Okay, that's fine. It's, it, the point being, it's, a, it's an LSA. It's, right. a, it's that kind of aircraft, even though it looks this sexy P-51 macho flying aircraft, it's yeah. actually easy to fly. Protax. Yeah. What is the takeoff roll? Oh, with a uh, 915, we have 136 horsepower. Okay. We are about 150 meters. Okay, so and for the uh, ultralight type numbers, yes. Also, uh, it's also uh, realizable uh, below 200. Wow, okay. And, and the stall speed then? The stall speed is according to the regulations below 45 knots. 45 knots, okay. So, so it looks like this uh, tremendous flying machine that you would have to be highly skilled to fly, but the truth of it is it's quite easy to fly. No, everybody can fly it. Excellent. That's wonderful. Well, if they're going to fly it, they have to buy it, and that means they have to know how you will deliver it. You'll make a ready-to-fly version, will you? Yeah, we are producing it now, but okay. to get it to America, for example, we have a special chick where we mount a complete plane inclusive the, the outer wings and all equipment and propeller on this chick and this we give in a, in a, in a place in a, a sea container and send it all over the world. Okay. You only have to put out it from the container you, you, you will turn it in, and you will turn it in uh, vertical position and then you uh, get out the gears and uh, mount the propeller and you finished. Okay. Right, not total. So that's for shipping a ready-to-fly version? Yes. Okay, and, and so you'll have a representative in some countries and they, they will assist a, a mm -hmm. consumer who wants a ready-to-fly version to get it that way. Yes. Now, for the American market, we know retractable gear, which this has. Uh, you have a fixed gear version that yes. you can sell to those countries that don't permit that, like the United awesome. States? Yes, okay, of course wonderful. We have the solution. But for those who say, yeah, but I want the retractable gear and I want a big engine, you have some options for them as well, is that right? Yes, of course. Okay, so tell me a little bit some about some of the other engine options. Now, the upgraded engines uh, for the experimental, it's going up from 150 horsepower as we have it here. This is a six cylinder UL power engine. Uh, the UL power, okay. UL power with uh, 300, uh, with 3.9 uh, liters. Okay. And uh, the original, this engine has 106 horsepower, but we reduced it because for lower uh, up here for this propeller. And then we have 150. Okay. And, uh, but then we go up to the Chevy engine. Yeah, I'm looking over your shoulder here yes. at a great big engine with a great big prop. That's going in this little yes, airplane? Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I say little because it's smaller scale. It's big enough for that engine though. Right? I think so. <laughs> and it's going to perform uh, very amazingly with that engine, I think. Yes, yes. yes. How much horsepower is this engine? Oh, we have it in two steps, uh, 300 horsepower, it's a normal aspirated, <laughs> and the high end is a 600 horsepower supercharger engine. <laughs> well, it'll be interesting to see that one day, but I suspect that many of your customers will be very happy with the Rotax 915, yes. which should make this aircraft perform very well. Yes. And, yes. and is an engine that they already know and they're comfortable using. Well, for those that decide, I have to have the big engine, I want the retractable gear, now you're into the kit market, basically. How do you help people in the kit market? If uh, a potential kit owner comes to us to Poland two times two weeks, he will be assisted by professional staff who've done these things over and over again. You will be get a uh, detailed briefing. All the steps are laid out. All the tools are laid out. You will be really uh, guided to do the. So um, you'll do the work. You'll but they're there to help you. They are there to with help you. Technical difficulties. Exactly. All the okay. tools are prepared. All the processes are prepared. All the explanations are prepared. And even somebody who has no experience in kit building is actually able to build the the aircraft himself. And which is a great feeling of of identity. You know also everything about the aircraft after that because you were involved in every 
in every step of the manufacturing process. Okay, so speaking of knowing everything about the aircraft, that was about building, but now we go back to the flying again and the learning to fly part. This is a two-seat aircraft, is that correct? That's yes. right. Okay, and you have dual controls in both seats? All, all the stuff. So you can have an instructor aboard with you and uh, that individual can teach you how to fly the aircraft yes. and Absolutely. get used to it. It is a tail dragger and I understand it's an easy tail dragger, but most people these days learn how to fly in tricycle gear airplanes, so they may need a little instruction and you can do that easily for them. Yes. If anybody wants uh, to, to get uh, this, uh, this teaching, all this, we can make it also in Austria. We have a, a special uh, uh, flight school for uh, tail tracker and for aerobatic. Okay, perfect. They can make it in days. Okay, excellent. Well, that's an awful lot of questions that we've asked you about this fascinating airplane, but people will always have more, I know. Where do we send them on the web to find you and to get more information and perhaps to place an order? What's the web address for you? The, the web address is uh, www.scalewings.com. That's scale, like, like a scale and wings. Okay, uh, very Scalewings.com, all small and all together. Okay, very good. And you can find more about this aircraft and many other kinds of affordable aircraft on bydanjohnson.com. Again, we thank our sponsors, Bristol Aircraft USA and LSA Aero Marine for helping us make these videos possible. Thank you for joining Hans, Christian, and myself here at Aero 2018.